Sherlock. I'm home. Baby. You home? Sherlock. Oh. There you are. <laughs> Last night's job must have really tied you out, huh? Otherwise, you would have remembered our policy about sleeping on the couch. Body aches are no joke. Hey, I'm home. I felt so much love in that sleepy groan. Oh, come on. You know that even as cute as you are, you can't sleep here. Yes, I'm being totally serious. You can't. Come on, you gotta actually go to bed. No, we made a deal. If I can't crash the dinner table, you can't do that at the couch. Considering that you scolded me every time I did it, I think it's only fair if you get a taste of your own medicine. You have to get up for work in a few hours anyway. You might as well get up. What? No fair. How can you get the night off? Okay, yes, it does give me a chance to sleep in with you. But I can't do that if you're on the couch. So you have to move to bed. Aha. Uh -huh. Logic and truth triumphs over the crippling desire to be a hobo. I mean, I feel as though it is hobo-esque of you to sleep on the couch the way you do. I'm sorry, have you seen the way you sleep? Hey, 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 no. Just because I'm right doesn't mean you get to be petty. Into bed with me now. Please, baby. I'll stop calling you FNAF references for a week. I'll do the dishes for the entire week. I'll go with you to Uriah's cookout. Well, I was gonna go, but now I actually will go and not hide from Uriah the whole time. I can't help it. She scares me and delights in it. You say that, but every time I'm around and Zachary's with him, those two terrorize the shit out of me. No, Zachary is a sweetheart. He only does shit to me when he's with Uriah, so obviously I like him more. Otherwise, he's actually fun to talk to. Well, Lottie is cool too. She's easy to talk to, she actually likes my references. She's like the girl next door who everyone just can't help but be friends with. No, her and Uriah aren't the same. Uriah is charismatic, yes, but he's charismatic in the way that he knows what you want and how to get it for you at a price, like the devil. Lottie is charismatic in the way that you can actually trust that she genuinely feels like someone you can trust. Mm-hmm, but counter-argument, I know you're using this to stall me from getting you to go to bed. <laughs> mm hmm It's been six months since we started dating. I'm wise to your tricks, Sherlock. Oh, work? It was exhausting, honestly. Yeah, my boss was running everyone ragged for a new special tonight. That meant everyone. You'd be surprised what she can get done if she really wants it. I somehow managed to end up running the teleprompter for some reason because she got the guy who was supposed to be doing it to run coffee for her, which isn't even his job. Eh, that's capitalism for you. She at least liked the updates to the story I'm looking into, even if she did have notes. Well, it had to do with the fact that the story ran in a completely different direction than she or I expected it to. 
course I'll tell you. You're my number one confidant. So as the story would have it, apparently, given the string of murders and the missing persons case that came up, there's been a complete radio silence in regards to any major spikes of incidents that I can trace back to that one person and their three followers. Hey, I'm still coming up with a nickname for them, so that person is what's going to do for now. <laughs> How about we call them uh, the Road Trip Reaper? Ooh, seems we have a winner. We'll see if it's editorial. Nuh-uh, you're doing that thing where you're pretending to hate something I said, but I know you like that. Okay, how about Reaper for now till I figure something else out? Reaper it is! So, I tracked back the Reaper's origins and it seems that in Washington, there was a series of kidnappings reported all over the local area, including the death of a local crime boss known as Gerard Thane. My sweet, beautiful, amazing partner. Never underestimate a reporter who's hot in the story, especially not this reporter, who happens to know a guy up in Washington who links me with all of the news cycles so I can keep up with its happenings. As I was saying, I thought these disappearances were all linked to the Reaper, so I looked into them, and they had something in common. They were all waved away by the local authorities. Every person who went missing, most of them being women and children. After things were getting done, a guy named Jackson Ross was leading a community search party, but they hadn't found anyone. This isn't just a few cases, Sherlock. About 15 people have gone missing, and no one has even touched the cases. There's almost no media coverage, so you have a few missing person ads in the paper and announcements on social media. Well... I did think the Reaper had something to do with it, but these cases are too coordinated to be their work. All the murders that were left in their wake were all random. Those disappearances are targeted. Wait, can you get me to ramble so you don't have to go to sleep? I can't believe you! No, off to bed, now. I'll come join you after I shower. No, you can't come. I feel gross, and you need to sleep. Now go. There we go. Was that so hard? <laughs> You're just being a baby. Now ease over so I can get some space on the bed. Now, how was your day, besides sleeping in for most of the day? That sounds great. Did you eat properly today? And drank water? Ooh, bonus points for Sherlock. Look at them taking care of themselves. <laughs> you know, I'm just teasing. It feels so good to finally get into a bed. Mm-hmm. Just as good as it feels to get you here with me. Now, get over here and let me hold you. Much better. Hey. You're very cute when you're tired. Now, get some sleep. <laughs>